The ability to quickly diagnose health conditions is becoming more and more urgent as the coronavirus pandemic continues. There's a backlog of patients waiting for scans. Cancer Research UK estimates this is currently 3 million people. So doctors are increasingly looking to study how machine learning algorithms could process large amounts of data quickly with fewer human resources. At the Royal Marsden Hospital, a study is underway to develop an algorithm that can determine the difference between COVID-19 and the side effects of cancer treatment on a scan. These are things that are often very difficult for the human eye to determine. Okay, so this is a patient with coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. Essentially, we have some CT scans of the chest that are taken a few weeks apart. Dr. Richard Lee is a consultant in respiratory medicine and a champion of early cancer diagnosis at the hospital. So on the, the left side here, um, we can see the patient has uh, the two lungs, which are usually black in colour, and we have this fluffy, greyer, kind of almost ground glass appearance at, at the bottom of the lung. One of the things that we see in COVID-19 is this sort of ground glass change uh, that suggests infection or inflammation, but the same things can be seen in the context of how the cancer is behaving, and particularly important is, is how the treatment itself can cause a very similar change when, when there is toxicity. A large archive of anonymized clinical images is being used with approval from the hospital's ethics board. This data can be studied without inconveniencing the patients. Expert radiologists can make indications of things that are slightly more like the pattern of, of COVID-19 or more like the pattern of treatment toxicity. Obviously this is a new disease and we're trying to understand how, how much depth we can see in that subtlety uh, and the amount of information that we think we can extract using computer algorithms and analysis we think will be much more able to differentiate those changes and certainly to do so more quickly when we're under times of strain such as in a pandemic. One of the patients who gave permission for her scans to be used is Sarah Ward. Sarah was diagnosed with melanoma and has been receiving immunotherapy treatment for the last two years. Immunotherapy can cause toxicity to build up in the lungs which can damage them. I had um, issues with my lungs at the beginning and I was breathless. I was quite scared because they said that they could damage my lungs and they indicated that there was a possibility that I wouldn't be able to go back on the treatment. So I was quite relieved when they said that, yeah, I could go back on it and that there wasn't, any dam there wasn't damage to my lungs. This damage can present in a similar way to COVID, which is why her scans were selected. So I feel that if that helps um, future ca cancer patients and improves the care of cancer, especially in, in these COVID-19 times, then that's a good thing. I don't mind it, that a machine being used. Other ways algorithms are being used to help doctors during the pandemic include identifying COVID-positive patients through coughing. Researchers at MIT showed how they could use samples from tens of thousands of coughs to determine whether the cough was COVID-related. An algorithm picked up differences indecipherable to the human ear, identifying 98.5% of people who had the virus and were displaying symptoms, and 100% of people who were asymptomatic. With no immediate end to the current crisis in sight, finding ways of prioritizing treatment and diagnosis using AI will continue to increase. <laughs>